What's good, Sasa family? It's your boy NSTV back with another reaction. We're checking out Yuri's um, It's Love. Last time we checked out Yuri, she just she made a debut song, is What Do You Want? And I had some constructive quick constructive criticism about it because it didn't feel full or it didn't feel complete. And she actually commented on that video too, which is pretty lit. Um I definitely said I wanted to if she needed a consultant, I'd definitely take up that role as far as, you know, I love I would love to help out new artists, especially since I have my degree behind my my name now. And yes, I finally finished school and whatever. Um, so I would definitely take up that position of music consultant because I like to see growth and I like to be a part of things to help people grow. A positive vibes, you know, we show more love in the music industry. Maybe it can translate into everyday lives, you know, we show more positivity and love. So we're gonna continue the same same setup. If it's we're gonna do constructive criticism, we're gonna keep it real, nothing fake, everything's genuine on this channel. And let's get it. Let's see if how much she improved since then. You feel me? And let's get if you like this, let's get five or more likes. Um, and any drama or anything, go ahead and keep it off the video. If you know what I, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Just keep it off the video. But let's go. I don't even I don't think I need the caption to. Already the beat is full. Alright, alright, off, off the rip. Alright, so I already like the beat itself because now the beat is more full and it feel the beat itself feels completed. Um it's a little bit loud. Um there was it didn't seem like there was some mastering done on this, but yeah, it's a little bit loud, but not too bad. Um the one thing that's gonna draw back you as an artist is that audio. That audio, um, I get that you use audio auto tune, but there's also ways to make that feel more natural and normalize it a little bit, you feel me? Like some guitarists or something to humanize that to or just lower the auto tune so we can hear more of your vocals because a lot of times, especially when you hear that robotic feel, a lot of people, especially new people in the older generation, they don't want to hear that auto tune feel. They don't like that robotic feel. You feel me? And I like the I like the background. This is actually a dope ass picture. Like this is be a somebody should like screenshot that. That'd be dope. <laughs> All right, I I really I like the horns, but I feel like the horn should be more of a feel in a more of a background settings because the beat already is loud with the eight oh eight switch. Like I said, I like the eight oh eight, really dope. Um, and it's a little bit too loud, but the those horns on top of your vocals like that, it kind of meshes. It doesn't mesh too. If you're trying to hear your 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 vocals as a somebody who's like really keen on lyric, lyrics and vocals, it wouldn't be. Some people like it, some people don't. Let's just keep it like that. You feel me? And the crazy thing is, I can tell that you have a vote, you have a voice behind this. Like, like when I'm hearing it through the mix, I can hear that you have a vocal, but that auto tune robotic feel. Which I ain't gonna lie to you. She took show from what do you want? 
she took I think she heard what I said about how it, her vocals in that kind of felt kind of shaky and it wasn't, you know, even though I said it was a shaky, it was only a tad bit. It felt like she was weak in certain areas. She felt like she was weak in. This one felt like she kind of took that and went, all right, let me add some auto tune to add more substance to my voice so it wouldn't sound shaky. But now we on that robotic feel, which is, like I said, uh, when it comes to the music, it's a, it's a process. You feel me? Um, either this time with either a different mic or more humanized on her auto tune. If you need, if you need an example, say, shoot, hey, hit me up on Instagram because I'm trying to hit you up on Instagram. You don't have no email or anything for me to hit you up on. Um, I would definitely, um, you know, like I said, work with you, consultant, mix out anything you need me to do. I'll, I'll show you exactly what I mean. You feel me? We can talk. If you see this video, let's let's get to work. You feel me? We know I'm Kenya. All right, actually hearing this so far, it don't sound too bad as far as the 808s in the main part of this doesn't sound too bad. Where is that as the volume part? But those horns need to come back into a background role and her vocals need to come up a little bit so we can actually hear it more in context. It doesn't help with the auto tone though. It does not help with that. But I like the feel what she was going with it because now she's, like I said, you can hear that she can sing it just sounds like she wanted to add something to back her vocals, which comes in with a, if you need something to bring your vocals to a full, um, full vocal stacks. Because you can hear that you have a little bit of a uh, harmonization to track in there, a little bit, or it might be an effect or something. But yeah, vocal stack would definitely bring that out with auto auto tune. Like, like that's where. <laughs> That one part right there, hold on. That was weak. That was weak right there. You already, you already know. As the pro, uh, music producer, that part right there, you want to have them re-record that part. And if it still sounds like, because it sounds like she ran, started running out of breath at that part. So what you would do is either you would have to play with the EQ a little bit and compress and try to match it up to the rest of it or have her re-record it. I'll say re-record it because it'll be a lot more easier to have that part. Because it bring that out a little bit more because it sounded like she was gasping for air and we don't want the artist to struggle. We want them to feel as comfortable as possible with the mix. Like that part, you hear, you hear this part where it sounds like in the background, that would be perfect for those songs to be it, you know, in the background, in the mix.
Yeah, them horns though. <laughs> Horns definitely need to come come down a little bit, but off with the horns. But as far as that go, Yuri, I like that you did a good job. You came back stronger than with stronger than in the last song, and all I can do is keep on improving. And let me give you advice as far as the market uh, market mindset and business mindset. Um, also for your fans to get in contact with you, um, you're gonna have to get more of a social platform presence. That means more of a presence. So now branch off into things like TikTok when you're ready um TikTok can go away but like Instagram maybe a Twitter so people will know even more know uh, where at time or when you're posting things teaser or a little bit into your daily life you feel me so people could feel like they getting to know you more of as a person in the artist you feel me um and also then once you start building up even more even though you do have the I believe you have enough. How many subscribers? Yeah, you have enough to start, uh, you know, merchandising, but you have to have something to market, some type of presence to start marketing in that field and analytics. And also, before on your post, because um, I did comment on it because you did have some controversy going on, um, all you can do is really next time you're working on it like when you're working with a producer or something like that it's make sure having somebody to clear out clear the songs like a somebody that knows something about licensing to make sure that the songs are cleared and and i get that people sample produce a sample but make sure that when they sample it's sampled good and how you know if it's sampled good where uh just get it clear. <laughs> just basically just get it clear, bro. It, I was gonna say some other stuff, but nah, just get it clear. It'd be a lot more simple and easier. You get it clear, there'd be no problems. You avoid controversy. Well, people are always gonna try to stir up something, but all you can do is keep on going strong and you know, and keep on going for success. Music and all this industry, because a lot of people in this music industry is not gonna show you a lot of love. So you definitely gotta keep on going, grinding and building your your um uh, your team that's gonna work with you that actually wants to y'all both see, you know, just you know, keep on going up. So like I said, I'm gonna keep on checking in on you, I'm gonna keep on giving you advice, keep on, you know, I like when artists tap in, cause when she I wasn't gonna I mean, when she tapped in after the first reaction, I said, all right. So I'm gonna start giving her some, you know, if they tap in with me, I'll tap in with you. I'll give you some advice. You take it, you don't take it. Whoop de whoop. You feel me? But this definitely is definitely a I'm gonna give it a B. This is definitely a B for me. Um, like I said, there's some parts that could be worked on as far as both their uh vocals and the and basically the mix part of this. It really comes down to the mix part of this song is just Throw threw it off, but other than that, you did a good job here. Is it too 